All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it, take it one day at a time. Most definitely. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship him, praise him, thank him, trust him in everything you got going on in your life. Amen. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other and to see for one another, comfort each other, support each other, lift each other up in the most highest name. All that good stuff, people, brothers and sisters of faith all over the world. Let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs. The brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for their faith. Who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong, steadfast, and encouraged. We are always with you forever. Be firm. Much love to the great tribulation of saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new creatures in Christ out there, all the converts out there. Much love to anybody out there who just repented. God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anyone who is having a testimony, dreams, encounters, and visions, all those amazing things, God bless you as well. If you did not repent and get baptized, Go repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects, let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and and always worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till his son comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stay in our purpose and call for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the Most High. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, everything. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy. Line upon line, precept upon precept, write a copy of the whole Torah and keep it near and dear in your heart and embrace the new covenant. Keep being used by the most high. Amen. Take it one day at a time. People stay strong. All right. A lot going on in the world, probably a lot going on in your personal life, but stay encouraged and trust in the most high. Amen. Now, today's message, what I will do is go through today's daily devotional. And then from there, I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right, let's go through with this daily devotional. 
your daily prayer. This is based around Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 28. All right, let's continue with the daily devotional. Quote, in the face of betrayal and chaos, trust in God's plan. Amen. Today's story highlights the remnant of Judah's struggle for stability after Jerusalem's fall. Get a dialer. Get a get a Lila, get a Lila appointed governor, sought peace, but was murdered, leading to chaos. Jehananan's revenge worsened the situation, leaving the people torn between fleeing to Egypt or obeying Jeremiah's warnings to stay and submit to Babylon. Story Bible in the year Judah's remnant scripture. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down. I will plant you and not pluck you up for I repent me of the evil that I have done to you. Jeremiah chapter 42, verse 10. Have you ever faced a situation where it seemed like every choice led to more conflict? The story of Judah's remnant struggling for stability after the fall of Jerusalem is a powerful example of how turmoil can reveal the true nature of people's hearts. When Gedaliah was appointed governor, he sought peace by negotiating with Babylon. His efforts, however, were met with betrayal and violence. Gedaliah's assassination by Ishmael, a friend turned enemy, Plunge the remnant of Judah into further chaos. How do we respond when those we trust betray us? Ishmael's actions not only caused immediate turmoil, but also set off a chain reaction. Jehananan, in his quest for revenge, killed Ishmael, adding to the bloodshed and confusion. The people were left in a precarious position, unsure whether to flee to Egypt or stay and submit to Babylon despite Jeremiah's warnings. Jeremiah's consistent message was to stay in Judah and to, and submit to Babylon, as this was God's will for their survival and eventual restoration, yet fear and mistrust led many to flee to Egypt, seeking safety in their own understanding rather than God's guidance. How often do we seek a refuge in our plans, ignoring divine wisdom? Hmm. Reflection. Examine the areas in your life where you face chaos and division. Are you seeking peace and unity, or are fear and mistrust driving your decisions? Reflect on the story of Judah's remnant and the consequences of ignoring God's guidance. Pray for the courage to make choices that align with God's will, even when they are difficult. Amen. Scripture. Yet a small number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah. And all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine's or theirs. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 28. The prayer. Dear God, as you continue to elevate me to place of influence and leadership, I ask that you give me a heart and ears to hear and heed when a man or a woman of God has been sent in my life, sent into my life to protect me from the attack of the enemy. Unlike those in today's reading, I confess that my desire is to be in the complete and unwavering plan of the Lord. I confess that when I am given a word of warning or correction, I will not allow pride and ego to respond to me. I will not run in the, the I will not run in the direction of what you freed me from in previous years. Instead, I will plant my feet firmly on the words of your prophets and watch my life flourish and grow because I've learned to move and act as the sound of your voice. I decree and declare that I am no longer a slave to my past, but a servant to my future. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham. He's the God of Isaac. He's the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He's the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of David. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the most high. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Amen. Yes, he is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him, the almighty, true, living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins. The author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfect. The author, perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, 
the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my refuge, our safety, our salvation, our defense, our deliverer, our redeemer, our provider, our helper, our safety, our defense, praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, could fix all things, cure all things. He is the carpenter, could fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He can face your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great, mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. Know he could do for you. Abide in him and abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in his son's name. It shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, double portion of blessings, unexpected help, unexpected good news, unexpected good turnarounds. All those things I speak of your life. Most definitely. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. Most definitely, our faith has made us well. Our faith has saved us. Our faith has blessed us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. His timing is due timing, perfect timing, amen. Stay strong and patient, people, most definitely. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer the resurrection of life the resurrection the resurrected of life the revelation the revelator the righteous branch the righteous one the radiant one the perfect example the rock the root of david the rose of sharon the ruler of god's creation the rule of the kings of the earth the savior the seed of woman the shepherd and bishop of souls the shiloh the son of abraham the son of david the son of god the son of man son of the blessed son of the most high god the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him the son of righteousness the just one the one mediator the stone the builders rejected the true bread the true god God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word, the word of Yehosha, Yehusha, most definitely. His word is purified silver, just as David said in the Psalms. Every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. And may we touch the degree, the Messiah is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is the everlasting king. He is the sinless high priest. He is the way everlasting. Hallelujah. Prayers up for all the poor people. Prayers up for all the widows, all the orphans. Prayers up for the fatherless. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for the strangers, the sojourners, refugees, all peoples, all walks of life. Prayers up for all households, all demographics of people. Prayers up for the babies, the children, the young boys, young girls, the teenagers, young men, young women, adults, senior citizens. Prayers up for the elders. Prayers up for single people, married people, divorced people, separated people. Prayers up for single parents, co-parenting. Prayers up for all households, all parents out there, most definitely. Let's repent and get baptized. Let's forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. Let's be blameless before the Lord our God. Let's circumcise our hearts. Let's write a copy of the whole Torah. Let's embrace the new covenant. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Shalom. 
Amen. Selah, Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace. Ah!